Jesus Freak here. A, a few months ago, I decided to try adding hymns, complete with backdrops, lyrics. I don't sing, so just the melody to my uh, scripture readings. Make it a little more like church, I guess. Now, I'm kind of limited in what I can do. Since I'm not currently licensing anything, I don't know who I could go through, get a decent arrangement. I know there's one I could probably use. I might have to, you know, pull my videos down after a year. I don't want to have to deal with that kind of bureaucratic stuff. I just like to be able to, you know, pay once and say, okay, you can use this for one video. But I don't know if anyone is willing to do something like that. I mean, I can give an estimated viewership, estimated reach, extrapolated from actual videos. Anyway... That limits me because I can't use How Great Thou Art. I can't use In Christ Alone. There's a number of tunes I like I can't use. There's some lyrics I like I can't use. There's some arrangements of tunes I prefer. I'm stuck using public domain arrangement of Amazing Grace because the one I grew up with, the one I'm familiar with, has a 1964 copyright. That ain't going away anytime soon. We just, 1926 stuff went into public domain back in January. But within those limitations, I can actually do a fair bit. And you've seen I've had a, quite the selection. Some stuff I've used rather unorthodox pairings of lyrics and melody. And maybe some of the hymns aren't as familiar which is why I do a complete run-through, which I might eventually switch to doing something more typical of churches and just, you know, play a short bit before. But since I know, you know, different people are going to be familiar with different hymns, and my audience comes from a different faith tradition, might not necessarily be familiar with a lot of the stuff I'm picking I mean, yeah, you're going to probably know, like, Amazing Grace, How Firm a Foundation, you know, classic hymns that everyone knows. It's when you get to the more unusual stuff, you know. Father, we praise thee, now the night is over. Um, sing praise to God who reigns above, the God of all creation, stuff like that, you might not be so familiar with. That's why I've always had the hymns play once through, which gives me time to put a credit card. Or I don't mean a you know, piece of plastic. I mean a card with the credits at the beginning. You can usually tell when I've outsourced the, uh, these cards because... Uh, how the cards look. Mine have a very specific appearance to them. Anyway, I'm wondering what people think of them now that they've actually seen a few. There's a few times I just had no inspiration, couldn't bounce anything off anyone, so I just wound up having to use a generic card. I did that with 04,000 tongues. I did that for Amazing Grace.
I'm not exactly used to doing any of this. If you watched today's video, you probably noticed that the arrangements, well, the harmonizations for both the hymns, I did those myself. Amazing Grace, it's the Edwin XL arrangement, the same as everyone knows. But I reharmonized it. I wish I could have used the harmonization I, I know from growing up. Like I said, I can't do it. It's copyrighted. I'm getting a video struck. I could probably get away with it. Who's going to report me to the United Methodist Church Publishing House for using it? But I'm an honest person. So, just wondering what people thought. And if people noticed any particular eccentricities. Like one video where I used another YouTuber's intro theme. <laughs> because it happened to be one of the um, tunes I had to work with. Now, if you watch this person, I, I think it was R. Grant Jones, I'm not sure. But if you watch this guy's videos and you're used to hear, hearing it as the intro music for or his videos, and all of a sudden you're watching my video and the same tune comes up, well, now you know where the tune comes from. <laughs> because I was using it in its original context. Anyway, uh... Wondering what people think of my uh, choices of hymns over the past few months. If they're any good. Or if they think I'm a little bit weird. <laughs> I mean, I am, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Jesus freak out.